Hello, I'm Becky and I am prototyping for an inflatable floating architecture project. You may have seen me uh, in my video making these little plastic pillows. These are made out of vinyl sheet, just this clear plastic stuff that you might see like on the inside of a wallet where you would put your ID to be visible or even a shower curtain liner. So sheet vinyl. Uh, and I'm using vinyl cement, this stuff called HH66, to bond it together into different kinds of forms. Uh, these little pillows or dumplings. Yesterday I was able to achieve a solid seam on the outside so that this isn't leaking. I would put it under water and see if bubbles would come out from the inside. And I was able to achieve a good seal on this prototype. And then I moved on trying to make a more complex geometric form that would fold up in an interesting way when it was inflated. Now I did achieve that, except that some of the glue came undone. I was very frustrated about that because I really need this to work. I don't have access to an ultrasonic welder, which is how like industrial processes would make inflatable forms like this. Even used those things cost like $1,500. If anybody's in Chicago and you have access to an ultrasonic welder, please DM me. Today what I'm gonna try is a bit bigger pillow, if you will. And I'm going to use, instead of a little paintbrush, which I have used yesterday, I am going to try a piping bag, like a pastry bag for icing. I'm gonna take a Ziploc bag, not unlike this, and I'm going to fill it with this vinyl cement, which is going to be a total mess. And I'm gonna cut the tip off and hopefully achieve some of the detail work and precision that I was lacking in this prototype. If it works today, I'll buy more HH66 and I will continue prototyping forms with this glue. I'm going to cut my form. You know when you buy a sheet set or a comforter, it comes in those big clear plastic bags? That's what this is. This works best when everything's precisely lined up. Ta-da! Well, you notice that I didn't measure anything. Um, I think that's okay. I think it's gonna be fine. I can't forget to cut out the hole for the little inflatable valve. I'm going to glue a diamond in the middle and then glue a seam all around on the edges to make it a folding shape. All that's left is to make the piping bag. This is actually what I got the colorful beach balls in that I cut all these valves out of. I also don't know if the vinyl cement will degrade this plastic. But I guess we'll see. So a quick talk about safety equipment. Uh, I'm wearing an apron so I don't mess up my clothes. I'm wearing latex gloves and I have my half mask respirator. Like I said in the last video, HH66 does some scary stuff. The back of it says, suspected of damaging fertility or the unborn child. So that's what this is for. All right, let's create our pastry bag. This is gonna be a complete mess. So, let me tell you what happened. These gloves work a lot better than the nitrile blue gloves. Here's my prototype. I'm letting it sit before I inflate it. This was my piping bag. This worked out pretty great. It was not so useful for the outer edges. It applies too much cement. It's good to have a lot of cement when you're doing this, 
but this really just oozed too much. So I think I must have cut the tip too large. In the future, I would cut it smaller. The other thing that's really great about this piping bag is that I can dump it all back into the HH66 container at the end of the day so it doesn't have to get dry. But I'm actually gonna leave this with a little bit of glue in it overnight to see if this might be a sustainable way to just store the glue. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and we will inflate the prototype. All right, we've got this prototype. I'm a little nervous about it. Parts of it look weird. I see a rivulet here, but I hope I pressed it enough when I was building it. Well, it's been like 30, 45 minutes. I wanted to make sure that the cement had time to really bond before I inflated it in case that was one of the variables that was causing them to fail. Here we go. Here we go. I'm cutting that out. No. That's cool, right? Moment of truth. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. Check it out. Look at that! Ah! It's a dumpling. It's a double dumpling. It's a double dump. It's a double dump. Whoa. Wow. All right, well, this is sick. This is dope. This means that I should buy some more glue. Awesome. If you want to recreate this, it would be useful to have a more specific tutorial. So I'm going to have some diagrams from Fritzing and I'm going to link to my GitHub in this video. Thank you for prototyping with me today and I will see you later. See you later. <laughs> and uh, you know, no pressure, but like feel free to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, do both. <laughs> do both. Like, subscribe. Okay, Misty.